back to the Monolith Film Podcast. I am Lee Byrne. With me today, I'm joined by... Nicholas. And... Charles Sevichon. We have a new guest today. How are you doing? I'm doing just just fine. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Yeah. Introduction. Clap. <laughs> just fine. Welcome, welcome. This week, we watched Shirio no Wana. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Evil Dead Trap. A uh, Japanese horror film from the 80s, 1988. Directed by Toshiharu Ikeda. Uh, was this everyone's first time watching it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. It feels like almost a Western horror movie, but you see it through like a Japanese lens. Like the I, soundtrack, just that do 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 do. It sounds yeah. like a Halloween, but like a Japanese with like synth pop. I found 80s. it was. I found it was like a weird version of Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Yeah. I don't know because there's this uh, author from Quebec. He wrote a, a work called uh, Alice but with ISS, and it's mm. like a horror version of Alice in Wonderland. And it really reminded me of that a lot, because everything kind of happens, like people show mm. up, and you're kind of like, okay, where, this where, 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 you, yeah. where do you come from? Oh. but yeah. You're definitely going down the fucking rabbit hole with this movie. <laughs> yeah, it gets fucking weirder and weirder. <laughs> Every five man. minutes, something weirder, yeah. <laughs> something stranger happens. I get what you're saying with the whole, like, Western thing. It's definitely, like, super influenced from earlier 80s horror mm. movies. Like a slasher movie, it seems like. Yeah. Even, like, uh, The Thing. Yeah. It's, like, kind of the way it's shot and everything. Thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, before we continue, should we summarize yeah. the film? Let's. You want to go for it? Sure. It's a, uh, a woman at a late-night TV show where she receives, um, like, Videodrome, almost, where she gets uh, tapes from people. And one of the tapes that she gets uh, says, like, for anyone who doesn't want to sleep at night, something like that's the title on it. And uh, it's a, a snuff movie, but in the mo- in the snuff movie, they kind of show you where the murders were taking place or the murder was taking place. So she gets a crew together, uh, all-female crew from her um, news station, goes, finds the factory. You call it a factory? It's a military base. Military base. Yeah. Yeah. Finds a military base where... Um, these murders took place, and uh, strange things ensue. Slashers come, and fetus brothers are born. <laughs> uh, horror ensues. They pretty much uh, get killed off one by one, and then uh, yeah. there's a little twist at the end that we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get into. Mm-hmm. I uh, mean, I just want to add that there was this one guy. Yeah. The crew that was like, uh, well, how did true. they n- name him? Kind of like... Uh, chaperone kind of yeah, thing like chaperone. he's chaperoning yeah. these women like all going like of course women can't go anywhere with one guy well it turns out they all get killed anyways. yeah 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 <laughs> i don't think he did much help yeah not at him. all honestly not at all <laughs> i'm upset we never get to see how he dies yeah we uh, just we just find his head oh the guy puts the, the uh, lighter on him yeah right? mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. well i assume his head got cut off somehow yeah that's what I would yeah um my first note that I took says Japanese titles are cool, <laughs> and I stand by that. The, uh, <laughs> Just the opening titles, yeah. anything, they're so much cooler than like any kind of other font or any kind of text in yeah. movies. They're so visual. It's like you're getting slapped by every title. I saw that there's the the twenty minute fade, the twenty seconds, sorry, fade to black after mm-hmm. the title okay. shows up. Yeah, it's just twenty seconds of black. And I was sitting there watching it, and I was like, Nick is going to like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it all. I was just like, is it. the movie starting at some point? <laughs> I like a slow burn. Yeah. Give me five minutes of black before it starts. <laughs> five minutes on the middle, and I'm happy with it. But I, I like how when it does start, you mm. kind of jump right into it. Yeah, they don't, they don't, mm. like, uh, they, they don't, they, they, I, I wrote personally, like, they, they cut to the chase, it's all, like, we're yeah, already right in it. Like they, they yeah. don't like take like, oh, this is our establishing character. Yeah, my yeah. name is this, and <laughs> this is my family, and this yeah. is my job. She, th- you're just thrown in there, and it's like, oh, okay. Well, just I guess she works here, and I guess yeah. that's what happens. Yeah, literally zero exposition. Yeah, it's pretty much. Though. Yeah, exactly. Really needed. Yeah. yeah, I kind of would have liked some exhibition for or, uh, for the uh, fetus monster. I would have liked a bit more... Uh, There's one line, though, at the beginning. Like, when they're editing, they say, oh, um, something like about, oh, uh, she looks like mother. Yeah, she <laughs> looks like her. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, at first I was like, ooh, 
this is going to be important later. <laughs> we'll <laughs> it's store this too weird later. to be just something someone <laughs> says randomly. Um, one thing I think we should uh, address before we get into any uh, deeper analysis is uh, it was all ripped for online, I guess. We all watched it ripped. like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Very legally. Yeah, completely Extremely legally legal, ripped, yeah. legally pirated. Extremely. We have a black flag and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you guys watch it with subtitles. I watched it the first time with that. Yeah, I like. I, yeah. yeah, like when I opened it, I opened it on QuickTime and mm-hmm. there was no subtitles, and I panicked. So I was like, I can't watch a Japanese movie <laughs> and like go on a podcast and talk about it. And I don't know what the hell is going on. But yeah, but I opened it on another program and then the subtitles mm-hmm. came. Yeah. I always watch. English movies with subtitles and foreign movies without. Good, interesting choice. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I think I started doing that as a joke and then it kind of <laughs> stuck. Now I like it. Yeah. But yeah. I usually I try to watch them without subtitles at least the first time. Mm. I, uh, I guess you're a purist of show, don't tell. Yeah, exactly. Kind of yeah, I think you should be able to understand the film completely without any dialogue because film is a visual medium mm. primarily. I uh, I did the same thing, where uh, didn't watch it with subtitles, didn't feel like I needed to after, so I haven't seen it with titles at all. Oh yeah. The movie, yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. if I if I say wrong names or wrong places, yeah, it is because I don't know what I'm talking about. You you definitely did not miss much. I don't think so. With the subtitles. I I think I pretty well yeah. There's uh really, the dialogue is like. Pretty much, you know, completely useless throughout yeah. the entire film. Yes. I can't oh. remember a single line that like stood out. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna watch it again with the titles, and then I saw that her show was called like Late Late Show or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not missing anything with the, these titles. Yeah, I watched it uh, three times. Okay. First time no subtitles. Second time with subtitles. Third time the director's commentary. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did that uh, Com- shed light on? Completely useless. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's actually hilarious. The whole time, they're just like talking about like how cute the actresses are or like <laughs> how good they were on set and stuff like that like <laughs> nothing about anything you nothing want about, about yeah exactly nothing the about the movie and like what uh, what anything yeah. means how they did anything that's the, pretty funny. the only technical thing they spoke about was uh that's a real lighter we used <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, we burned the actress once. <laughs> yeah. when when the body flies through the hallway on a hook. Okay, uh, yeah. The first, the first girl who dies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They do that uh, trolley zoom. Yeah. The Hitchcock zoom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just, they just mention that that's a Hitchcock zoom, and then they move on right away. <laughs> that's like the most they talk about in the movie. Well, what else do you need to know? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Was like, ooh, they're being fancy with their zoom. <laughs> yeah. I thought the camera worked throughout. I thought it was really cool. Honestly, yeah, me too. Uh, I was so surprised yeah. for like a Japanese slasher ish exactly. movie with like very nice composition for a lot like even the picture we're seeing right there that's going to be the thumbnail of this video it's like very nice composition yeah it's very well balanced you see there's a direction in the shot it's really well made and there was like some shots that i actually wrote down while i was why like when i was watching i was like oh i like that shot i like that shot there's like this one shot when they come in the factory uh, not the factory, the the military base. Military base. Yeah. But they said it was factory you know, once. I think. In the I think. Dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. They thought it was a factory, and yeah, yeah, it was like a bird's eye view. <laughs> it was a. It was a bird's eye view shot, like when oh, they come in. Oh, on top of the. Uh, yeah, yeah. On top of the truck, and I was like, "That's that so is interesting. Shot. That's the, so cool." The shot Charles is mentioning. It's uh, starts overhead of the truck, and they kind of trick you into thinking the tripod's just on the top of the truck because you see almost the bottom of the truck, and they start moving, and the camera starts craning over. And then it cranes down and goes into like a close-up insert shot of like a lock that she opens. Yeah. And that whole intro is just a long take, moving camera. Very cool. Whole things like that though. Yeah. yeah a cool. lot of uh, running through hallways, follow cam, remind me of The Shining a lot. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of those hallway sh- scenes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stuff yeah. like um, I think Evil Dead. Yeah. As well, they follow the characters a lot with their camera. They do a lot of follow cams. Uh, yeah. I also wrote about like uh, there's the shot where it's like uh, kind of like a bluish tint like they put a filter on and there's this cam that's like running kind of like yeah, a spirit yeah, yeah. Kind of, I, f- I thought there was a lot of evil dead vibes to it like the spirit in the forest that runs yes. kind of thing oh, yeah, so yeah, that was a nice nod about. to yeah, it yeah, yeah. 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 even uh, the editing like right off the bat that early 
little montage of like preparing the coffee, watching the video. Yeah. That whole montage sequence was pretty spooky. Well, it kind of goes with what you said, Charles, where she's going into the rabbit hole, into into wherever uh, Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland, I guess she goes. Yeah. You kind of get this circular milk in the coffee, yeah, and you kind of exactly. go into this. Oh yeah, I love. Yeah. That it's thing. like yeah. I was like, is that real in. milk? Like, what did they <laughs> yeah. do? It's, it's actually crazy. a goat. Uh, we'll put the joke in. <laughs> 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 Joking aside, like just just we're talking about composition, like the mm. fact that this is a 1988 horror movie, and mm. there's. It's such a close-up driven story mm-hmm. and movies at that time are not especially like all like very close-up driven i guess yeah even like horrors like, now really you don't really yeah. get camera work like that and yeah horror movies <coughs> now. it's a lot more slow brooding hold on this what's going to happen this is visceral you're feeling even when she's watching the vhs at the beginning and it cuts back to her reaction shots not just normal reaction shots. They pan over him. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on? That's like a thing. that's like a super Japanese thing. <laughs> yeah. To do. Like, yeah. It, like <laughs> so many of the reaction shots are so like anime. <gasps> like they'll like pan to the face as the face is turning to yeah. react. Or a quick zoom in. The zooms are crazy. Yeah. In the movie it too. is like extremely dynamic. Yeah. For a movie that has very little motion, yeah. you're just kind of walking around in abandoned. And yeah, the place. one set you're stuck yeah, exactly. in the hallway. Yeah, exactly. Must have been. Sh- so cheap in terms of location yeah. scouting. I think, uh, <laughs> I think their budget was like half a million US. Oh, wow. Okay. 80 I mean, practical Japanese stuff movie. looks Oops. really yeah, good. Yeah, it does. Oh, my God. For like that budget, it's mm. like, wow. Yeah, and they really don't shy away from gore either. No. Like that first tape is just like a oh, yeah. crazy I was going to talk up. about this. Like <laughs> that tape was so yeah. hard to watch. Like they're not, like there's so many horror movies that cut right when like the gore yeah. starts yeah. to happen, like when someone gets stabbed and the guts come out and everything. But this was like, oh yeah, we're keeping in and we're showing you like all this gore happening. And I was like, yeah, ah, this, this is, is so uncomfortable to watch. Th- uh. That was the uh, the eyeball <clears throat> knife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is that that comes out? It looks like aloe vera. Fuck. That's it does. Out of the it eye. does. Yeah, it's, it's just pumping aloe it's vera. Just, through the it's all practical effects too. Oh. Yeah. They, he, they, apparently, they just took a bowl and filled it with gel. And nice. stabbed it. That's all right. <laughs> it looked it disgusting. Good. It worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah. For those who haven't seen the movie, the shot we're talking about is like literally a close up of an eyeball getting stabbed, and you see it pop and juice comes out. For uh, fans of Un uh, Chien Andalou, it's a eyeball getting cut, but instead of like a lens falling out, you get like a. Uh, would you say like a water hose amount of gel? Yeah, out of his eyeball? yeah. <laughs> just eyeball fluid. Fantastic. A whole. Water I mean, they had a bowl. They were like, "We're putting the whole <laughs> yeah. bowl. Like, we're not. We're this not trying to." This is a four-gallon bowl of gel we got. For this. <laughs> we're using it all. <laughs> I mean, we pay for this. We're gonna use it. <laughs> Do you guys want to talk about some of the deaths? Yeah, I was just about to say we should go through all the deaths. Deaths yeah. were pretty good. Four girls and the guy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. at some point they split, and there's yeah. one that goes alone. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, like Nami. Louis, is the the host of yeah, the show? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then there's uh, Masako, which is um, one of the other ones. <laughs> yeah. And then there's two <laughs> of them named. Disposable women number yeah. one. <laughs> 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 then there's two of them named Ray. Or oh, Rai. that's why it was confusing. Yeah. I was like, wait, which one is this yeah. one? Yeah. In in the subtitles, they spell them differently. Oh, okay. But in, oh. The, in the credits, they're spelled the exact same way. Yeah. So like, they literally gave two characters the same name. It's a common name in Japan. Should have been like time. Meat Hook Ray. <laughs> <laughs> face Cut Ray. Good face cut, I thought. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Like that saw sequence. Yeah, that was cool. See. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Let's do the deaths in order. Okay. Yeah, so starting with uh, well, the first the one is the eyeball. Right. Thing. Yeah. 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 The tape. Yeah. yeah. The spike one. It was a bit weird, I thought. That was the weirdest one out it of all of them. That was shot, this is something else they talked about on the mm-hmm. uh, director commentary. Yeah. That was shot by the B team. Okay. They didn't have time, the director didn't have time to shoot that, so he gave that to the B team. And he isn't too stoked about that scene either. <laughs> yeah. He said he has some complaints, but he he's going to keep them reserved because okay. he didn't film it. He doesn't want to criticize someone else's work kind yeah. of thing. But I agree that uh, almost like it came from a different movie. Yeah. It... It honestly made me think, okay, either that person has too much budget. Like, not I'm not talking about like the the movie. Crime, I'm talking mm-hmm. about the actual killer. Yeah, like, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Or he's yeah. like a freaking demon, exactly. like out of like uh, 
hell and like mm. unleashing like uh, like how long was that thing just piercing the ground and three direct well for like the people, three things is like oh jesus christ for yeah. the people listening it's like a girl sitting in a corner and then a giant spike nowhere to describe three, it like three yeah. meters yeah long. Like just a, three giant me- spike. Oh, a yeah. giant spike comes through one wall then a different wall and then the floor or something and then it's like oh wait yeah. there's another one yeah, exactly. from the floor <laughs> and yeah I, th- I thought like you like it was a demon or something that was the the antagonist of the yeah. movie plus there's like the she gets lured into the corner by maggots falling from the ceiling mm. and then a yeah. corpse falls out of a closet on her like mm. it's set up so perfectly yeah mm-hmm. Like, I get it's evil dead trap. The place is full of traps. The, the trap. The place yeah. is a trap, you know? Yeah. But, I mean... That was a bit high-budget trap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For the killer. Yeah. It was like, if you don't get there, like, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get you at this point. But also, if you can afford to get this giant three-spike maggot dead person trap Why don't you setup, reuse it? Like, just or like, why don't you fucking pay for the operation to get the guy cut out of you? Or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no point in it. Fuck, we spent 17 grand on this spike trap. I could have had the <laughs> surgery for fucking... <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it looks less like if you go up to a doctor and you're like, hey, can I get this being out of me? Then just going out of shop and be like, can I have like a three meter long yeah. like spike? Oh, by the way, I need three of those. I guess it might be easier, yeah. It's like... Less, less awkward. W- looks less weird. <laughs> like, just... Uh, yeah. I have it's a, a project. brother living inside of me. He's yeah. a fetus monster. <laughs> uh, you could either take him out or give me three spikes. <laughs> it won't work. At this point, the, sh- the, 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 the hospital and the shop, the body next shop, to they're next yeah. to each other. And the, the guy's guy rubbing that. his chin, looking back <laughs> yeah. and forth. Uh, I guess you'll take this option. Oh, it's cheaper? Okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, the spikes are ten bucks each. <laughs> Tough call. Tough call. <laughs> um... One movie I was thinking about at the end was a movie I gave to you many years ago was uh, mm, Basket Case. Yes. That I thought that was a lot of... Have you ever seen Basket Case? No, Charles? I did not. Almost the same kind of thing where it's like a guy and his brother, but his brother's like a fetus monster too. Okay. And he keeps him in a basket. And he go, and that basket case monster goes and kills everyone. <gasps> Almost the same thing as that. I don't oh, know when okay. the times came out. But okay. that Basket Case is a lot worse but almost kind of good at the same time, you know? <laughs> like, it's so terrible, it's fantastic. Yeah. Basket Case came out in 82. Ooh. So before this one. Ooh. Japanese yeah. rips. There you go. Ripping. I have, From talking about ripping, because <laughs> yeah. honestly, uh, you know the music? Well, the actual yeah. theme of yeah. this. It reminded me of this freaking songs from the end of the 90s. Do you remember uh, the song... Uh, all around the world, la, 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 la. you know that song? Yeah. And all around the... Listen to the oh, xylophone yeah, yeah, at the yeah. beginning. It's almost the... Really? I think it's the exact it's same tune. Uh, Tears for Fears song? Then? Yeah. And I was like, did they rip it off from the Japanese? <laughs> you know, it's like you know, one guy probably, yeah. in like the studio that has Familiar to come up... Familiar faces! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> Seriously, if you, if you can, like, listen to that clip. song, yeah. listen to this. It's insane how they look similar i was like i wouldn't be surprised it's so that, weird that song and the way it's used over and over again mm. kind of reminded me of suspiria okay i haven't seen the original mm. but in the remake they do the same thing with yeah. the music and i'm i've heard they do the same thing in the original suspiria there was kind of a, a lot of uh, guitar solos like rock like uh, heavy metal like solos sometimes like very pivotal <laughs> scenes yeah you know? that was like Okay. I think it where, was like where are we going Yeah, I think this? that was like an 80s kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah. it was an era thing too. Yeah, but yeah. I I was like okay, I guess. Yeah. Supp- it was always like in scenes where like uh, I don't know, Other like when she them. throws the thing off the window and and stuff like that. Like big jump scares and things. <laughs> there was a few jump scares. How do you guys feel about jump scares? You like them or not? I no. li- you don't uh, like them? No. I mean, oh, in this life. one, in this movie, they didn't bother me as much. They're yeah. not that bad. They're yeah. not like super Constant. bait and trick yeah. jump scares. But uh, usually, I think a horror movie is usually scarier if they can manage to, you know, the terrorize atmosphere. the audience without using jump scares. Yeah, I like jump scares, mm. but they're overused. Oh, right. for sure. Yeah, that's why I if find that one, we perfect. You know? Yeah, like yeah. if there's like one good one. 
and, and like I think it's well placed. Mm -hmm. I think it's. I think like jump scares are like Wilhelm screams. Like honestly, they're overused, and <laughs> you need one in the movie, and that's it. <laughs> you don't need the scream. <laughs> you can leave that used a million fucking times. <laughs> it's amazing. Once it happens, you do hear it though a thousand times. Oh, but <laughs> wow! <laughs> and uh, it's yeah. when you don't expect it, you're like, oh, they did, they, they did it. You gotta clap did. every time. Oh yeah, I do. I do. I'm like so proud. I'm like, you went there. You went there. What, uh, there's one jump scare in this that actually really fucking got me. Which one is that? I, I can't remember anymore. I me, mean, it's the body when she falls. Like, uh, you know, the, we were talking about the, oh, wait, the maggot trap and yeah. the body. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't, I that came, was a bit spooky. Uh, I came back to it. I was like, I didn't see this coming. Did I yeah. just, I like, wasn't I paying attention? But yeah, it was a real, a real jump scare. I think mine was the, the, uh, the face cut death you mentioned before. Oh, with the machete and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I was so relieved when she dodged the crossbow. Yeah. And I was like relaxed and then uh -huh. wham. <laughs> Hell yeah. uh, I think I actually like fucking jumped in my chair. <laughs> Talking about uh, comparing like jump scare kind of things to more atmosphere horror. Um, I thought watching it without the subtitles, you get a real feel for the atmosphere yeah. of it. Yeah. You get more of a kind of ooh, there's a dread over everything. Like you were saying, Charles. Every every scene is like blue jab, blue red and fog everywhere you go what the fuck's going on <laughs> little guys running around a guy in a like a raincoat fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people. wasn't the scariest outfit for a, a slasher killer still but I feel like it was a little silly <laughs> there was no demonization like there was no like of the, the guy yeah there, there was never like a shot in the mm -hmm. dark where he's hiding or anything it was always like he's there yeah, and you're, yeah. Like, and, and you're like shouldn't we put like very scary music as he's walking towards no no we, him there. it's like you guys should be scared we don't need to add stuff for yeah. you guys to be scared you guys sh just should be scared naturally talking about uh, the composition of the film mm -hmm. and talking about this compared to stuff like uh, the original Halloween which has like absolutely practically perfect composition throughout the whole thing but you're always kind of looking for Michael mm -hmm. in the background of yeah. that movie you know yeah. you're always he's somewhere he's always stalking at the end of the road or something yeah, exactly. behind a tree in the back but in this it's not the killer that the movie wants you to anticipate mm -hmm. it's the whole place it's that abandoned military base that's the trap yeah you know so they always every time you get a nice wide angle outside the character are, they're always framed within the building or within a fence. They're always trapped in there. So it's almost like the the warehouse, whatever military base itself is the killer more than the, the killer dude itself. Is. Yeah. yeah. That's like spoiler alert. <laughs> gets like humanized at the end, I guess. Right. Yeah, the killer. So I, I I think you're like perfectly right where like the the actual killer was not like the intention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it was actually like. You're, you're, you're stuck here and you're gonna die it's that place that's is gonna take trap. you yeah. Yeah. that place is gonna kill you before that guy kills right. you like it, it's almost like he was almost like saw like he masterminded this place yeah. and he could just chill out and the place kills you cause the know. it's not just him who's possessed by his demon fetus brother mm. it's like the whole the it's whole the place three was... spikes in the wall yeah. yeah maybe yeah, that's man. that maybe that's the... crossbows <laughs> Oh, are yeah. shooting from seemingly nowhere <laughs> yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was like, maybe he's sneaky. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how is this dude so fast that he can shoot a crossbow like, and then come from a different room with his yeah. gun out? Yeah. I mean, saying that, I still thought that the, the slasher, the killer, should have been a bit scarier, though. Even if he's just a tool in this whole... I, I, I guess it was kind of like a, 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 a statement of like you don't need a villain yeah. well, well not necessarily a villain but like an actual Freddy or Jason yeah. right. to sell this the like kill. scary tale yeah. you, you could just like it kind of doesn't make sense to I guess if it's the guy at the end you know and yeah. like you'd see Jason or something they're 8 feet tall mm -hmm. right, you get, yeah. oh he was the 8 foot tall Japanese guy who's hanging with the <laughs> guy. Yeah. in his fucking sandals yeah. <laughs> this isn't a playground <laughs> I read reviews after <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought the dude out of costume like I didn't mind the rain poncho whole get up that mm. much I yeah. thought the mask was kind of creepy like he kind of just has like a black like yeah, thing. mask cover mm -hmm. fabric veil. over him yeah veil yeah. I actually thought the uh, 
the fucking the dude in the suit was almost creepier just like, chilling that yeah guy? like yeah. he gave off like such like a powerful like devil vibe kind of thing mm-hmm. like you know the devil is always whenever the devil is in man. yeah he's always a sharp dressed man he's always kind of like relaxed in any situation kind of like teasing everyone yeah i kind of got that vibe from him mm-hmm. i kind of like like if we're thinking about how the mask that he has does not convey anything at all it's not like meant to be like demonic like mm-hmm. it's not like the purge or something where it's like there's a creepy face that's drawn on it and everything it's like very extremely simple mm-hmm. so at some point it kind of makes him look like like an actual blank canvas right it's like something that's like very um like very empty and, and like devoted of any human uh, any human trait mm-hmm. so there's like kind of has so we could associate this thing I was like okay this is not part of this is not human this is not something yeah. but then when he takes off his mask he's yeah. like one of the more fleshed out characters there. Yeah. yeah so I found it was interesting to see the like the complete antithesis of being human visually right and then wow this is the most human character we have like having those two clash that's true I wonder why his brother made him paint his face before he put the mask on. True. Yeah, that didn't make uh, much sense to me either. Kind of looked creepy. Just looked creepy. creepy. Well, it reminded me of the kind of Japanese theater masks. I don't mm, know if they might yeah, have been. Yeah, yeah. The references might have gone over our yeah, Western our, our yeah. Westerner yeah, sure. we not have seen it. perspectives. We uh, got a little sidetracked. Who's second to die? Dancing girl, the whole, the only one who we're supposed to sympathize with, really, because she's the only one who's scared and doesn't want to be there. Mm-hmm. She's dancing. She's the whole, like, innocent character or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she goes back to the Jeep, and who's waiting there but some other dude who's been trapped there for God knows how long, mm-hmm. right? And then he <laughs> proceeds to rape and strangle her. That was hard to watch. It was a bit of a long scene, long yeah, it was, take. It was, like, a very uncomfortable, yeah. long take. Oh. Yeah, it kept being like, "Oh, cool, she's getting away." Nope, he's nope. back on top of her, yeah. and and it's just like she just doesn't stop screaming and and crying. Yeah. The, the take just, just never stops, and you're like, "She's gonna yeah. punch him. She's gonna do something." No, she's just trapped, and then like you said, he goes back on her, and it's like, "Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's so scene. uncomfortable." Because oh. definitely yeah. an uncomfortable rape scene. Watching <laughs> without subtitles or context to it, too. <laughs> <laughs> you go, "What the fuck is going on here?" <laughs> Actually, that might be a scene where you did miss out with the subtitles. Okay, yeah, because yeah, he, he, has he explains line. himself a bit. Yeah, he has some interesting monologue. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What does he say? <laughs> Just like... He says there are two, and they, uh, okay. they, they take us or something. Yeah, he's like, he's like, there are two, but really they're one. Yeah. Uh, I think that's like one line. Yeah? Yeah. You were, yeah, you were okay. talking, there's like not a single line uh, that... Matters like, like right matter, that, yeah, I would say that, that's that like, that's probably the that's only the one that gives one. context. Yeah. yeah, he gets a fucking crossbow to the head, yeah, mm-hmm. and fucking bleeds all over her face. Why though? Ah, uh, yeah. Why did he die? Well, like, I honestly get, don't know. He was just getting out, maybe. I he was gonna yes, get away. but no, the the, the killer told him to go kill that girl. But that's what he, he was, was doing. on a mission. But that's what he was doing. Right. Well, I mean, it was a trap, right? <laughs> go kill her and then I'll do my work for me and then I'll kill you I think mm. it was that kind of thing yeah I just guess. using him while he goes and tries to kill the other people I guess because he he was he, he had his like uh, he has his like actual like rope to kill her after so he knew yeah, probably you, that the guy wasn't gonna be yeah. good enough I mean he was ready he was yeah, ready yeah. To, yeah. to kill her he, he could have just been traps. fucking with them yeah, the yeah. shot you said Charles with the rope I thought those were some of my favorite shots oh yeah the, just, in, the yeah. insert shots were fantastic yeah, yeah that was fucking cool very cool yeah. it's like almost flat black with like an object flying in or something like that rope seems a noose that just oh, flies out do you out. remember the, the, the rope when she's opening the door oh the yeah yeah, goes, yeah we'll get there goes, we'll get yeah. there that's cool and, yeah. yeah yeah okay sorry well, right. do you wanna so. let's just skip to that one that's a good death <laughs> yeah. isn't it well it, that's the next one isn't that it? is the next one yeah, yeah, yeah. the next one well okay so this girl after getting raped she just she gets hung yeah she gets mm-hmm. noosed mm-hmm. yeah she yeah, gets yeah, noosed yeah I wonder what the top of the noose was hanging on though tree tree yeah, I assume. Yeah, honestly, I that watched that enough. scene and there was this filmmaker thing in my head that was like, wait a minute, where is this is that thing hanging from? from? Yeah, I thought there was a decent amount of trees for it to was be. Was there? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, pretty, pretty, really, pretty <laughs> convenient. <laughs> Let's put it that way. 
a lot of I would say if there was a pole like up. right over it, it would be pretty nice, you know? Okay, but guys, yeah. The last death was three spikes exploding out of walls and That's floors. That's true. That is true. Okay, there doesn't need to be a support for this. Yeah. 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 Saying that we loved every death. It was <laughs> <all> fantastic. <laughs> okay, yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah, that that ahead. scene where <clears throat> uh, the main character is like, uh, she's. By the way, I love that she saw her on the TV, her friend. Yeah. And then she's looking for her, and she's like, oh. This this place go to this place and she runs through and there's like shaky cam but not too much, mm. which added more tension. Yeah, again, I like that too. And then um, basically she is trying to open the door, but the, there's a close up of the door on the other side, with a whole like system of like uh, wire string, you know, yes. wire yeah thing. strings. Yeah. And then there's a long shot going through the whole string. Long, long. That's yeah. really long. And and you're always like, where's, where's this going to be? Where yeah. is this going? Literally, yeah. where is this going? Yeah. And then you see that it's attached to a, a, a crossbow, <laughs> and it's on the, the trigger. Yeah. So as soon as she opens the door, she's dead. Mm. I must admit, I was a little disappointed at the reveal of the crossbow. At the crossbow? I didn't expect it. <laughs> really? I didn't expect Me crossbow. too. I was like... Oh, <laughs> what is this? I was kind of like, oh, that's boring. He's been using the crossbow all movie. <laughs> really? You yeah. didn't like it? I don't know. If I was, I, I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> if I was more original than a gun, yes, that, that's I, I was like, yeah, yeah, this fair. Is, but it, only one notch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a notch, but still. I mean, the trap was very much redeemed. Yeah. Afterwards, mm, you yeah. know. We, we spoiled it a bit before, but she evades the crossbow killing and gets machete to the face instead. Yeah, there was a second wire all along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a just trip wire this time. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, I sent my... <laughs> <He's> dead. <laughs> yeah, fuck, that was a good shot, though. It's yeah. cool. That's fucking cool. The, uh, the practical effects on that are nuts. Like, you literally see, like, her skin kind of peeling off yeah, and everything. But not exaggerated peeling. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, not yeah, like no, a little yeah, yeah. 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 Out. Yeah. Like, you know, some movies you guys split in half or something. Yeah, right. This yeah. is just... This is, like, honestly, yeah, I, I liked how mm. everything in that movie was kind of, like, I don't want to say toned down. But just realistic. Just, yeah. yeah, just yeah. literally, like, we're, we're, we're going there, but we're not going too far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, yeah, so... They're pushing the envelope, but not into, like, ridiculous... Yeah, right. Yeah. Not of, extreme. like, okay, well, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. This is stupid. This yeah. is gory, and this is mm -hmm. nothing, and the head, like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And rolls and yeah. like bounces around and everything. Like I can picture in like a contemporary horror movie, mm -hmm. the machete blade going straight through the face mm -hmm. and yeah. cutting the head in half. And it falls down. Yeah, yeah kind of right. Yeah, the this like kind of like almost like understands physics. Yeah, it's, like, exactly. You, there's an actual bone there. Yeah, and <laughs> the bone stopped the the whole momentum. Yeah, props, guys. Props, yeah, good guys. practical effects mm -hmm. throughout. Yeah. Um, something I did notice right after that, the girl, the main girl, she gets crossbowed in the leg, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, she limps on the wrong leg. Oh! In I was the gonna say. Scene. I was gonna say she wimps the whole time. Props to the yeah. continuity, but you ruined that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's maybe. But when it's she goes leg. into <laughs> when she goes into freaking holes and traps and stuff like. Mm -hmm. She must be suffering so yeah. much, so worse than just walking. Now you're like crunched and and like Those one leg sewers. after the other. Oh yeah, and this one was like, oh, she must. If it would have been real, she would right. have like suffered so much. Yeah. But even then, like now in Hollywood, people get bullets and they're like, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so like, let's not give them shit for that. Most of the uh, most of the cuts and scrapes on the actresses that we don't see happen, like that, aren't cuts from a blade specifically and stuff like that. We're actually real. Oh yeah. Like when they'd fall and shit in the dirt, they'd like <laughs> fucking fall for up. real. They were committed to the movie. Mm -hmm. And like all their knee scrapes and like bloody knees and stuff, that was all real apparently. Wow. Yeah. Looked good. Commitment. Yeah. Method acting. <laughs> we're gonna need you to cut your face off for this scene. <laughs> I want you to uh, fall <laughs> three yeah. times. There's three spikes Bef as well. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, they're all styrofoam. <clears throat> no, no. Yeah. Maggots. <laughs> we got them. I mean, knowing them, they're probably <laughs> real maggots. For real. Probably. Oh. Maggots aren't that bad. Oh. Maggots, uh, to me, appear to be some of the cleaner bugs. Because they're just baby bugs. They're not dirty yet. 
Just they're like gummy little. Yeah, you did you no, touch they're them? They're gross. like. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, I don't know. Like, I, bugs I took a broccoli shit, once yeah. with <laughs> maggots, <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's not a nice, <laughs> like, Tastes grabbing situation. But full of protein, so. Mm, I know. To, Insects are like the people. actual like in terms of volume, they're the animal that has more proteins by volume. You guys ever in see in terms um, of fat, ghost ship or whatever that. Ghost in the Shell? Fucking movie. No, it's like, like it's an old horror movie. Okay, okay, okay. Pirate ship, pirate ghost ship, something like that. Okay. They're eating a can of beans. Okay. And one shot, it's beans, and then something spooky happens, and they didn't take another bite, and it's just a can full of maggots. <laughs> like, good, I'm getting some protein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. beans have fucking five he's grams. He's lifting weight. Well, 200 he's grams of protein. <laughs> <laughs> it's ripped after. <laughs> you have any cricket protein I could have? <laughs> <laughs> These are for all our weightlifting, uh, yeah, <laughs> bros. <laughs> so uh, that's like the last proper death we see. Mm, yeah, then we well, see the, the, yeah, well, then the last killing we yeah, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, because then the the last film, the last crew news crew death is we just see his decapitated head mm-hmm. on the roof after the girl wakes up there. Yeah. And you got cool Joe fucking smoking a cigarette with his lighter. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, I don't know what he said. <laughs> fuck his lighter is. Uh, he was like, not like your friend. Powerful. Like he said something like that. He was like, well, he looks pretty bad or something. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, since when is this guy Tony Stark? Like, what yeah. the hell? There's always one liner. <laughs> this guy is like way too cool about what's going on. Actually, he is pretty cool. He is. Because those those sandals I found out from the director's commentary. Apparently, those are Yakuza specific sandals. Oh, well. They look like normal sandals to me. They look like shit sandals to <laughs> me. <laughs> they look like <laughs> Quebecers on the beach in yeah, Cuba sandals. Yeah, they did. But apparently, there's some pretty uh, A lot of dark fast. Are Yakuza yeah. now, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> never going to get out of my head. Uh. <laughs> they have licensed sandals, the Yakuza. How much do you think they cost to order? Are they on Amazon <laughs> Prime? Get them in two days here? <laughs> <laughs> so, how did the killer die? <laughs> I, I genuinely don't remember. He got uh, shot, but he didn't die. Yeah, he gets shot a bunch. He gets burned. No, he got shot die. once. Oh, yeah, he wanted to he get does. shot yeah. another time. Yeah. Uh, but the girl was like, I can't. I shot you oh, once, okay, but yeah. I can't. Like, yeah. Jesus, yeah. you shot him once. Yeah. Finish the goddamn guy. I like. liked your sandals. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're Are right those Yakuza way. brand 272s? <laughs> <laughs> He blows up though, right? The room yeah. explodes and yeah. he catches fire. He catches mm-hmm. fire. Then he comes back. To yeah. Life again. yeah. Tosses yeah. the dead body, the yeah. burnt, crisp body off the roof. Turns yeah. into dust. That was cool too. I thought. That was yeah. a cool shot. The, yeah. This crisped body falls down and turns into like ashy dust. Looks like a parts. mummy. Looks cool. Yeah. Like a, like the mummies you see mm-hmm. that are like mummified with mud. Oh, okay. right. It's, yeah. It, it's exactly that. Oh, yeah. Like it, it looked amazing. But it didn't look wet. No, it didn't. No, look it was wet. very charred. Very yeah. charred. It was good. No, no, but if you want to look it up, it, it doesn't actually look like muddy at all. It's just okay, the, the way the mean. color dried and, the, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it was really, really nice. And then uh, all is well. <laughs> the third time the monster comes. Oh, yeah. I was, that's time. where I was getting, like, alien vibes because <laughs> I saw a- Alien recently <laughs> yeah, in Concordia. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and, like, you're like, oh, the place exploded. It's good. And then... Wait. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, it just goes into her freaking pod, and then the thing just <laughs> shows up. I'm like, no, what the hell? So it was the same thing. So I was like, oh, the thing bombed. And I was getting, and I was gonna say it's a ripoff of Jaws because yeah. she used the tank to blow up the monster, but then the monster didn't die. So I was like, it's not a comes ripoff back. anymore because he comes back. Comes back. Yeah, but. Uh, I don't know. One too many comebacks, guys? What do you think? No way, dude. You liked all the comebacks. No way. I th- okay, maybe one too many. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done without the little creature guy, though. I don't know. Yeah, the movie takes a weird turn. You're Can following it? this slasher trap movie. Hmm. All of a sudden, it turns into some weird demon ghost possession story where this kid's, this, this dude, the killer's dead fetus brother is hmm. possessing him and the whole building. But it lives in him too. It yeah. lives in him too somehow. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but I had like Westerner vibes the whole movie, and then I was like, "All oh, right, Japan." <laughs> yeah. Like right. literally, yeah, yeah. that's literally what happened in my mind. I was like, <laughs> "Reminded." Because my girlfriend yeah, came exactly. in, and I was the like, tentacles. and then the thing happens, and it's just like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, well, <laughs> sorry, I forgot." Japan. Japanese movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Japanese movie. It's one of those. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know, and like. 
you see a picture, a childhood picture of two brothers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the older brother has a bunch of pins yeah. stabbed in the picture. Mm -hmm. Is the older brother the killer? He is the guy with the... Uh, that's why I was, like, confused. Yeah, it's yeah. confusing at the end. It should be the little brother that would get right, all the pins if he too. was the if he was the killer. Unless yeah. the ghost stuck the pins yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, and he let really it happen. That? He was like, "Oh yeah, I know you That's hate cool. me." That's <laughs> cool. Yeah. Just, like, Keep living in my shoulder. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like, is the ghost really that petty that he needs to stab a childhood picture? Like he's out killing people all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'd think he's got better shit to do than. Like, and help. he's possessed. Like he's living in his brother, making him do stuff. Yeah. And like, I mean. And there's this weird mom theme where they lured the, the news anchor there because she looked like their mom. I feel like that was the only reason why like, like they needed a reason why right, she yeah. needed to come. But at the end of the day they were like, oh well yeah. we don't really need that yeah. Yeah. for like, the story okay. to work so let's just like, let's give them a 40 what, and slip. What but he comes end? back and says ma 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 a lot. Yeah and when she's killing the thing at the end you hear like a baby crying and everything. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a weird <laughs> fucking ending. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, the killer was a junior high school student. Okay. And they switched directors, I think. And the new director was like, no, killers aren't junior high school students. That's dumb. They're alien fetus monster demons living in your <laughs> shoulders, you idiot. <laughs> exactly. So everything about the killer was written after the script was done. So uh, it's kind okay. of normal that it's out of nowhere. Little pieces just thrown. Yeah. yeah. But even if he was a junior high... Yeah, like, a lot what? of... Uh, that would have that would have made a lot more... I mean, that wouldn't have bothered me that much. You think so? If but he was a junior the, high school the student? The technical kind of, needed kind of to pull It would have felt yeah. like a cheap cop-out. of you like, so? oh, yeah. it was a troubled high schooler that killed people <laughs> with, yeah. like, three-meter-long sticks. Like, yeah. he had the and budget. The and hooks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. It wouldn't have made much sense for. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like what a 15 year old kid to do that. But maybe if there was more fetus monster stuff. Right. Yeah. In the last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And I I didn't. Uh, I, I like my know. fair share of fetus monsters though. Oh, don't I have nothing wrong. against the fetus don't monsters. I don't know. I, I don't know how you guys we'll how you guys <laughs> feel about the whole uh, he survived kind yeah. of thing. Well, that opened the door for part two. Yeah, but like at the same time, I was I thought it was kind of a little too... Because I honestly, looking at this movie in like a, a westerner kind of like lens mm -hmm. I feel like there's too many um, like if, if you look like narrative wise, there's too many climaxes. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah. this happens. Oh this happens. Yeah. And like in Alien, it it works, it's just like, it's a twist. Right. Yeah. But here it's like, oh, well, we killed the guy. He's back. Oh, but there's a there's a fetus monster. Yeah. We killed a, fe a fetus monster. In the lighter. And then after, everything's done, mm -hmm. and it's like, there's a lighter. Wow! <laughs> yeah. And it's like, ah. Uh, yeah. Did we go there? So the, the last death, the news anchor goes back to work and starts her work on writing about this story. Yeah. And she receives a, something new in the mail. And it's the lighter that the killer was using throughout the movie. Yeah. And then she explodes and the fetus monster comes out of her. Yeah. Right? So I she got possessed. I think yeah. it's it, it has something to do with, like, it's like a disease. Like, they yeah. touch you and you got it. Right. It's like kind possessed of in the object that it possesses Cause It's her. kind of weird because she had it on her and she went through a whole thing like yeah. days weeks yeah. maybe and then oh whoops she realized oh wait i still have those things on me. oh yeah because the tentacle left marks on her neck yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah yeah and like the doctors didn't see that and like they didn't take care of it it's like it is like 10 climaxes in the last 10 minutes yeah, yeah. that's why i was kind of like oh okay oh okay yeah. uh, oh okay, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. oh it felt a bit like uh, definitely a, a weak third act compared to the rest of the movie yeah not awful. Yeah, not but I'd say just maybe the last 10 minutes, even. Yeah, it's true. just kind of the weird part, yeah. for the part that stands out. Yeah, I guess because the third act kind of starts when she decides to turn back. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was, like, watching the movie, and, and you know, that's why it sucks when you watch something I 
totally legally on a computer. Right. Uh, where you see like there's 20 minutes left and you saw a climax and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 wait, yeah. Like, well, fuck what? what <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, what's coming now? 15 minutes of credit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of people involved. Yeah. And Honestly, I thought the director's commentary was going to be after. Oh, yeah? At first, that's why I was like, oh, the climax happened. Yeah, could have been. Gonna, a, 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 probably the rest is going to be the director talking yeah. you know, or uh, something. The, the movie's only like, what, an hour and 40 minutes long? Something like that. It's pretty it long for a horror movie. Yeah. Long. It did. It felt a bit long. I did it in yeah. two parts. So. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Because even even when the second act wraps up, I remember checking the time, being like, "Okay, this must be it." It's because it it's, <laughs> oh, yeah. it yeah. starts yeah. so quickly. Yeah, that they don't lose time. It. Like true. they don't. They don't. Lose. So that's why you're kind of, "Oh, okay, we're we're yeah. we're, we're, we're doing this." Yeah. And then you arrive there, and it's, there's there's some lengths, mm. which like in in like suspense driven stories is like pretty nice but it's just it, it was kind of weird because at first they got us used to such a quick like right. okay this happens this happens this happens yeah. this happens yeah. the first act of this movie is your typical second act for a, your regular horror movie yeah you're right in yeah which yeah. i hate yeah. usually first acts in horror movies so I'm, yeah me too. I, I was totally fine with that yeah. i was like okay let's no they well, didn't it's, it's always like the same kind of stupid thing you know? yeah it's exactly like, oh, here's a family or a teenager they're or so a happy girl or, or he's so lonely yeah and oh he has hate for <laughs> these people. Have you? You didn't see Harry the Terry. Does any of you no, see, see Harry the Terry? Oh god, go no. see that movie. Yeah. Well, watch right. it. Yeah. Everyone's saying it's fucking good. It's really good. Wait. Yeah. Say that in what movie? Hereditary. Yeah, okay, never mind. I did see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I fucking love that movie. It's fucking good. Yeah, it's it, amazing. It, it's probably like the best horror movie to come out in the last 10 years. Yeah. I mean, I have a I have a little soft spot for Oculus, personally. Okay. Um, but, like, that, that's personal. Yeah. Like, that movie's trippy. That's a good movie, too. Yeah, yeah. But. But, yeah, I, I, in terms of, like, quality yeah. of work, it's insane. It is. It's fucking good. It, it, it's really good. Like, the, the twists and the. The horror is not what you think. Yeah, no, it's fucking anxious. Yeah, right? yeah, There's so much. It's tension. like an anxious horror more than like a yeah. spooky horror. Yeah, like really you arrive cool. at the end, you're and you're like, oh my god, there's gonna be so much shit that's gonna go down because yeah. this movie has been so tense and you get the whole time like practically zero relief. Uh, yeah, throughout you don't. The entire no, thing, no. like it ends and you're still like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait, that's it? Like, yeah. the, the, what? Yeah. It's good. I really But like it's that not movie. like a cliffhanger like No, no, no. no. Yeah. It, it wraps it, up, but yeah, it, it wraps, wraps up anxiously. Mhm. 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 Yeah, Nick, watch this movie. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Are you are you excited for his new movie? I uh, I yeah, the, 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 I didn't hear he was doing a Comes out this summer. It's what is it? Midsummer. It's another horror movie, but it's like daylight Scandinavian festival. I didn't know about this. Spooky. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm like super interested. Now. Yeah, what's it's fucking spooky. weird? I mean, I'm interested in us, like right now. So. I still haven't seen Get Out. It's That's really good. good. Uh, so I've heard. Uh, yeah, um, it's. Uh, I really, I hated the trailer. I kind of thought it was like a goof. Okay. I thought it lo- almost looked like a scary movie. I agree. Uh, the trailer it was I did so think it was stupid. A yeah. I was like, this is like a joke. Like they're playing on the tropes and like they're making. And also fun. a comedian making it too. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I was yeah. like, okay, this is a joke and everything. And then I saw it, and it, it's one of the best um, experiences I've ever had in the theater in my life. Oh yeah. Because at the end, there's kind of like I don't want to spoil anything, but like the way the ending happens, it comes in stages of like the character. Like it's almost like Mario. Like he has to go through okay. this boss and this boss and this boss. Okay. And then, at the, uh, and as this was happening, people were cheering and the fears <laughs> and clapping. And like, yeah, good job. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's <laughs> fucking great. Because sometimes in theater, especially like horror, like horror, it's either there's kids and yeah. you're like, you want to kill them? Shut yeah. the fuck up. You're like, shut the fuck up. Or there's girls that clearly didn't want to be there. Yeah. <laughs> or it's just couples making out in the back. Yeah. yeah. Also. Man, we need to have like uh, a a thing where like real horror fans go see movies together. And you have to we just it. filter out all just the a basement shit. Basement somewhere, yeah, with a projector. I, honestly, we should. Okay, we spoke about Hereditary, right, and how it's an anxious movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I like about Evil Dead Trap, mm-hmm. to bring it back, mm-hmm. is uh, the Wait. way it builds tension completely visually. Like, the song is cool, and it's mm-hmm. a catchy little horror song, mm-hmm. but it doesn't do much to build suspense apart from being like, oh, here's the song again. Yeah. You, you know? could take it out. Right, yeah. yeah. You could completely but take like it that, out. But, like, that long shot of the wire, 
That is so tense. Yeah. yeah. Just like it's leading up to something. You know it's a fucking trap. Yeah. Like, God damn it, what is it? You know? <laughs> and it's everything. It's one of those evil dead traps. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, what we saw was kind of like the spikes and yeah. that stuff. And, yeah. and, and you're like, what is this? What the gonna, fuck? What yeah. This, yeah. What is this shit going to be? You're always anticipating something but you never know quite what you're anticipating. Yeah. And that's how that's primarily how this movie achieves its horror, mm-hmm. which I thought was like extremely well done compared to western horror movies that are like, you know, jump scare, jump scare, death, yeah. jump scare. Mm-hmm. Cuz the thing that I feel like uh, American movies, like not just horror movies, just movies in general, it's like stuff needs to happen. Like uh, there's no way we could build tension and there's no way like I mean I know it's going to be like kind of a stupid example but if you look at Jurassic Park and Jurassic World like Jurassic Park like the T-Rex scene that comes out they're like right. really long shots yeah and like when T-Rex comes in he doesn't come like pow right now yeah. but if you watch like Jurassic World those well, you, shitty things there's like yeah. live T-Rex and, and yeah. they're like all coming in at the same time and you're like and then Chris Pratt's just there. <laughs> and he's like, he's totally fine. Like, the wind is getting his hair, and he's like, If it was oh, Jeff he looks... Goldblum doing that pose, I wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would mean, I mean, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, man. He's the best. Yeah, honestly. Like, that's not the point. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but Jeff Goldblum is just get Jeff Goldblum, and he does whatever he wants. Transcends totally cinema. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, my God. Forward. But, yeah, the, like the Jurassic Park. You see I want the, a the full, glass first. I want a everything. full movie of him and Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> Man, I want I. That's the spinoff I want. Like the Jeff Gold. Have you seen that? I didn't. I seen his picture though. Oh was, god, yeah. he's so good in that movie. He's like one of the best parts he's of the, the movie. He's the best in every movie. Because he's <laughs> like just Jeff for Gold Ragnarok. Uh, it said that there was no there was no script. Oh like, yeah. There was just like a story. Yeah. And they're like, here's your improviser scenes. Get Jeff in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, is. Everything is improvised. It's definitely one of the best Marvel movies. Oh, so th- those are all the deaths. We've yeah, made it yeah, the, yeah. those are all the, the deaths. Um, I tried keeping track. I noticed a few little bits of foreshadowing for each death. Oh, okay. Mm. So uh, the, the first death, right? She gets stabbed by a bunch of spikes. Yeah. This one's a little sketchy. I don't know if you guys will buy it. After she gets penetrated sexually. Wait, is she getting stabbed by a spike and it's getting <laughs> stabbed by a spike? What are you saying? Right? Dude? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so, are you, you guys on board so far? Does Follow it, you well, now it? I see your logic because the girl that was getting strangled gets Right? She gets thing. strangled yeah. while she's getting raped and then yeah. she gets hung by a noose. Oh. Then the other girl gets cut on the cheek when they first meet the murderer and then later on oh, she yeah, gets slammed yeah. by a machete right on the cut. Jesus Christ, that's sneaky. But you watched it three times. I so watched you, it three times. You, you, you got an advantage. It's but it kind of you see stuff. Kind of falls apart then because then the dude is just decapitated. We don't even see it. Mm. So I didn't catch anything there. Honestly, I feel like he was useless. So they were like, Let, "Let's not show a body." Just we need kidding. someone to penetrate her <laughs> spike wise. Yeah, it's like. The oh, can we talk about how random it was? Like the whole the sex, sex thing. Mm. Yeah. No, my, not even the sex thing. Just the dialogue about it. What did they say? Oh, it's it bad. Was like, the oh, it's oh, really it's bad. It was it's so weird. weird. It was like no, like, hey, how are you? What's up? Don't you find this weird situation? It was just like. Hey, I'm sorry my cock was not hard last time yeah. because of when the they, bourbon. When they get out of the van and they separate, <laughs> he's like, uh, you he got apologizes. Whiskey dick. Yeah, he got whiskey dick. And I was just like, okay, that went freaking quick. Yeah. Like, well, they didn't even talk in the oh, car or anything. This is the first thing they say. He said, listen, the whiskey's not working, but these maggots, they got oh. me going. Yeah, and then even uh, after he's like, I can do it now, you know. She's like, what are you talking about? He's like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And she's like, we're working. <laughs> yeah. It's like literally straight out of a porno, pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> um, dialogue. Fun fact, something this movie shares in common with Cannibal Holocaust, oh. most of the actresses are porn stars. Are they really? Yeah, oh, most of them see. are adult film stars. Oh. The lead? Yep, I think so. Oh, yeah? I think they mostly all are. Maybe not. I think the lead might be the only one. Because I think... Because she's like, honestly, she's a... Like, I was gonna say her performance. Good. I think is, they're all pretty good. No, but her like yeah, sh- she has a lot to like carry. Yeah, because like she, even the fetus. The, <laughs> yeah. the fetus is you'd be surprised, dude. He's big in Japan. Yeah. Um, oh, God. No. 
<laughs> the the director chose the lead because he thought she looked like a Japanese Sigourney Weaver. I was going to say, I actually wrote that down. Yeah? She makes me think of Demi Moore. Really? In really? some shots. At first, when I was thinking about themes, uh, I kind of reminded me of Cannibal Holocaust in that regards as well. Just the whole... Uh, media representation mm -hmm. and like these people like doing whatever it takes to get the story yeah. literally killing themselves for the story mm -hmm. and like televisions play an important role and everything like that so I was kind of like leaning on that whole corrupt media theme yeah but then they throw that fucking fetus fetus story at us and it like just threw that train off the rails mm. did interesting yeah because so I, I was thinking that too yeah so I, I lost track of theme pretty and I thought it was because I thought like watching it the first time maybe I just don't see it the second and third mm -hmm. time that these people were kind of just there they didn't feel like people that were like corrupt by the right. media making industry yeah mm -hmm. even her she was kind of just like oh this is weird yeah uh, and, and she wasn't even like she was pushing it but not that much she was kind of oh you guys don't have to come i'll go and yeah i don't think and the other was like no right, we exactly. like you and we'll come with you yeah. it might be a good story or it. it was never a, like she was forcing them to go yeah. or them they were like oh we're, we're not gonna, gonna get this story or else here. yeah we're not gonna get our paychecks and everything like even the bosses were like yeah, if you go <laughs> it's on you yeah we're not bagging you on this so i felt the, it, it didn't feel like the the media was the problem there because yeah. me too i thought Oh, because when I read the synopsis before I watched it, I was like, oh, this is going to be a media kind Some of, kind of critique. critique. Yeah. Right, yeah. I think with all its references and the way it's shot and how stunning it is, I think it might just be just a love letter to horror. Pretty well. You know? Yeah. It's just, let's make a fucking cool horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have to say, well, it looks like video drum and basket case put yeah. together. And it's pretty awesome. It is. It's actually. I think it fucking works super yeah. well. I think it has cooler shots than that, or cooler camera movement than in video drum. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I know. I keep like getting stick on this, but the shaky cam mm -hmm. was so well done. Yeah, it was for a 1988 movie. Mm -hmm. Like they could have went like cheap, or, or just like they didn't know how to use it. They, it wasn't perfected or right. anything. Like it was new. Th they st they looked like they mastered it. Yeah, it, it was not too much, just a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some shots when they were running, PLD a bit, but still, like I was like, wow. Yeah, there's a few off angle shots too that mm -hmm. play really well. Nothing over the top, nothing crazy. A few, I think there's one shot that's completely horizontal. Yeah, which is yes. crawling out. Yeah, 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 yeah which is super cool out. as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like none of it is overplayed. None of it's nothing overused. Nothing felt gimmicky. Yeah, nothing exactly. Nothing felt mm -hmm. gimmicky. Yeah. Everything felt like well, it looked cool. Let, let's do it. Yeah. Not a, not a, like, I need an Alfred Hitchcock soon. Yeah. Right, yeah. On this, I need a crane shot mm. there. I need a fucking drone shot there because that's what makes us look cool, the kind of thing. You're right. It was, like, yeah. It, was it feels like, like a high budget, high production, just, you know, bunch of fucking buds making a dope movie. Uh, it felt like serious people making a horror movie. Right, yeah. Serious That's what people. I mean by, like, high like, budget, high production. Okay, like, me, uh, it was complete opposite. I was thinking of people that were, like, very passionate, mm -hmm. but had, like, no budget whatsoever. Right, But yeah. they're being, like, super metho okay. methodical about what they're doing. Yeah, I just mean, yes. like, one... Okay, methodical? Because yeah. I, I kind of feel like when they're coming up with the shots, it almost feels like they're like, you know what, this would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, true. true. And then they try yeah, it, they, and it yeah, works. Yeah. But like the Hitchcock zoom, like you said, I don't think they were like, fuck, we need a Hitchcock zoom in this. Yeah, yeah. I think someone was probably like, no, it would look pretty cool mm -hmm. if we do this. Mm -hmm. But even with that, like they throw that in and then they balance it with something else. Like there'll be a long shot of someone, the yeah. two characters sitting on a stairwell for three minutes just talking. And then you go to crazy shots, crazy angles, flying camera and everything. But then it goes to like a back and forth where they just talk or mm -hmm. you walk through a hallway for five minutes or you stand in a hallway for five minutes. Yeah. And then crazy shots. So it's always balanced. They're never slapping you the entire way through. Yeah, even the, the film as a whole is well composed as well as every shot. Mm. Mm. One of my favorite um, scenes is right after she wakes up from the roof and they go down the stairs, the dude runs away and she's like look, peeking out the door and a, sh a slow zoom out from her face as she's staring down the hallway. I don't know why, but I thought that fucking scene is so cool. I don't remember. It's like completely blue completely blue lit she's like 
kind of leaning over the cage door. It's just a super slow zoom of her staring at the But even, like, look at this composition. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's fucking great. Like, she's right in the middle of the frame. She's, like, and, and you have stuff in the foreground, stuff in the middle, stuff in the background. It's all one diagonal line. It's it's great. Yeah. It's, like, I, I mean, it, you could cheap it up and be, like, oh, let's just do this and everything. But do you see the guy really looked at the frame and wanted a nice composition. Oh, As per usual. review time, review time, review time. Let's get into them reviews, boys. Again, these are letterboxed reviews we're reading. Oh, no half star reviews. The lowest is one star. Oh, oh, man. These so are on five, Charles. On yeah, five. On okay, five. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, that's, <laughs> that, that's pretty mean. Well, hated it. <laughs> All right, let's, okay. Start, start off with the first one here. It just kept going. I thought it would never end and that it would have me trapped in its boring vortex until the end of time. Turns out the only horror in this flick is sitting through its entirety. But I'm free. I'm finally free. Well, we kind of talked about the slow pace. But I mean, I mean I, I, there's so many movies I could show that guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, and be like, you think that's fucking sitting through mm-hmm. something? Right. Yeah, yes, it feels a little long in the but middle. like... Jesus but Christ. only for five minutes at a time. Right, like, yeah. The, like, we talk about we, they completely skipped the first act. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, to call it a boring vortex with one star, I think that's a fucking exaggeration. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, just the camera movement alone is interesting enough to watch it. Yeah, I agree. And just yeah. the deaths, they're not like, uh There's, like, freaking... There's a jump scare, and there's, like... The, yeah. And there's, like... It was freaking like three meter spice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boring is not what I'd call this movie. No, not really. I mean, if the sound is off, I guess. Even with the sound off, it's pretty uh, stunning. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's, yeah, true, true. You're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. Visually, I think it holds up enough to mm-hmm. be able to watch the whole thing on mute mm-hmm. and yeah. still be, you know, captivated. Never mind. Different language. I take, I take that back. Yeah, <laughs> works good. Yeah. <laughs> Evil dead crap, more like it. Mind numbingly stupid and dreadful. A bonus point for somehow making a serious attempted rape scene the funniest bit of the film. Yeah. I don't think it was that funny. It uh, definitely was not funny. This one just closest thing I could think of to a Japanese giallo, spelt with a J. Japanese giallo. Kind oh, of well, a it's little pun enough. there. I guess uh, the zooms and the a close up on a hand did it for them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we, we saw like like uh, Japanese Spider Man. Oh. That was way worse. That had a lot more zooms. <laughs> These were cool zooms though. Fucking they were, yeah. Long ass crack zooms. He uh, he goes on to say that it is mean spirited, unintelligibly sleazy trash, but it doesn't have any of the interesting lighting and the score might be the worst I've ever heard. I mean personally I wasn't a fan. Of the score? Of the score. Well, it's like one song. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, I mean, it's almost not supposed to be good, though. You yeah. Know? It's supposed to be like a good do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do right. mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> kind of thing, you know? Not a single five-star review for Evil Dead Trap. I don't think it's a five-star movie. You wouldn't give it a 100% score? Never. <laughs> no. I wouldn't, really I wouldn't either. Not no. It's not perfect, but mm. it's pretty fucking good. And perfect is like so, at this point, it's so personal. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I usually reserve my five out of five stars for... Either movies that I think are actually perfect or movies that I connect with on mm-hmm. such a personal level that they mm-hmm. gotta be five stars. And like when you talk with somebody and they're like, that's not a five star, you're able to say, yeah, I understand that you don't think it's a five right, star, yeah. but for me it's a five star. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's read some four and a half reviews. Sounds let's good. read some fucking good reviews. The top of the top. This is a very good and well done Japanese horror movie. Reminds me of a su- survival horror game. I only don't like the end of the movie. But in general, this is a very great movie. All right, I don't know. Why <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. a top critic on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> it was good. I liked it because it was good, and it was good because it was good. <laughs> I improved his grammar too while reading that. Did review. you? Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's worse. Yeah. Oh God. This is not simply a slasher. This is insanity. While most slashers are content with having the victims killed off one by one, while the others remain oblivious of their surroundings. Evil Dead Trap makes sure that they all know what's happening right off the bat and keeps them scared until their own horrific ends. This heightened, dreadful atmosphere keeps the viewer on the edge of their seats just in time to seek from an already slasher, some from an already great slasher, to a disgusting tribute to body horror that would leave a smile on David Cronenberg's face. 
that so? Yeah. I agree mm-hmm. with that. Pretty mm-hmm. apt. Apt review. Yeah. I give you a review five stars. Oh, a five-star review of a review. Yeah. I'm a very plot-driven person. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really like acting. I really like a very strong, well-thought-out plot. And uh, I could go see a, a movie that's not visually stunning. And, mm-hmm. for example, I, I had, like, a debate over... Uh, one of my friends, uh, when uh, we were debating if uh, Manchester by the Sea was good or shit, and I was like, you don't see the nuances in the acting and the writing in this, and because you're a visual person, because mm-hmm. this movie is really boring. Visually, it is. It's like very actor driven. So I would say that the plot in this movie was kind right. of basic, ish. I like the fact that they cut the first, the, the first act. Right. Um, and again, I didn't love the fact that. Um, uh, that the there was like four climaxes, right? Yeah. And and I would have cut differently the the ending, but overall I think uh, I put seven point five because honestly the camera work, the pacing, uh, just the acting there and like the girl like we don't give her like props she carries that movie the lead, and I I, I was impressed by her performance. And yeah, just the practical effects are really, really solid. Yeah, really solid. And yeah, didn't love the score, but that's my that's my opinion mostly. What do you think, Lee? Um, I gotta say, I'm the complete opposite. I really don't care about plot when <laughs> watching a movie. I think uh, if there's no plot whatsoever, I'm I can still be pretty satisfied That's with That's why I uh, can't turn that on the sound. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. I actually do watch movies on mute sometimes. Okay. Just to see, you uh-huh. know? Uh-huh. So I'd, I'd give this a pretty fucking high. I'm leaning towards like a nine pretty Ooh. solidly. This is definitely one of my favorite horror movies. It, I think it takes everything good about early 80s horror and puts it into one fucking great Japanese slasher film without being cliche. I think the editing, cinematography, and direction are fucking pretty fucking perfect for a horror movie. I think it, it definitely lose marks for the one track soundtrack, the random plot twist that's <laughs> never really explained. It obviously has its flaws, but even with those flaws, it's still Hands down, one of the best horror movies I've seen, I think. So a nine. A nine, yeah. Wow. I'm uh, hesitant to say eight, but on the horror movie scale, I think we can say eight is fair. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I was thinking movie. Yeah. Right. It's kind of sad because we have to scale it down for horror movies, which I find kind of Or scale it up, then. Now. Or scare, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like uh, usually a lot of people are always like, oh, well, it's good for a horror movie. I'm like, shut right. up. Don't mm-hmm. say that. Yeah, I Is agree, it a I good movie? Yeah, yeah. Is it a good movie? Am I on the edge of my seat? Am I interested? Am I invested in the characters? Is this a well constructed story? Is there, like, is, it, is this not just a jump scare fest? Right. You I know? think I'd give this a nine even on a. General scale. General Man, scale. I'm giving a 7.5 yeah. as a movie yeah. scale. Like, I, I would give it an 8.5 for horror. Mm-hmm. 8.5 right, okay. solid for horror. It's a good horror piece. Yeah. It's a very good horror piece. I'll stick with 8 then. Yeah, fair. It's a video drum and basket case. Two good ones together. Thumbs up. Yeah. Good fucking movie, boys. Yeah. Good job, everyone. So what, that, that overall, that's uh, 8.25? 8.25. Uh, I'm just saying 8. 8. Yeah, let's round it to an eight. Yeah, let's put it to an eight. Round it to an eight point two five. This has been the Monolith Film Podcast. Yes, I'm Nick Gillum. With me, Lee Byrne and Charles Wishy. You can find me on Instagram at ngillum77. You can find me through the Monolith page. Honestly, <laughs> fuck it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Monolith Film Pod on Twitter and Instagram. Monolith Films. Monolith something on YouTube, find us there. Comment on our videos. We'd love to talk to some people about what they think of the films. You can email us at monolithfilmclub at gmail.com. Give us some movie suggestions. Give us your review of these movies, anything you want. I can be your therapist for a night if you want. Um, I won't, but... Nick won't, yeah, I'll handle it. (laughs) Uh, Send us an email. 
Uh, me, you could just find me at Sirishi Photography on Instagram. I need followers, guys. Come on. There you go. <laughs> I make good content. Come on. I'm not just like a model, just like showing my butt. Give Charles some love, everybody. Dang. See you next week. Yeah, next week we're doing Fellini Satyricon. Oh, fun and gay. Get ready. <laughs> so, uh, till then, watch the movies. Bye.